Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Alexander, and I'm founder of VNX. Um, the most common question that I heard last year and quite often this year is VC dead. Uh, it was very interesting. The guy over there is Michael Jackson. He's a, a chief, he was a chief operating officer of Skype, one of the uh, co-founders, and uh, he is one of the partners of Mangrove. It's the largest VC fund outside of the United States. Uh, we were at the same press conference with uh, him in February, and it was very interesting. Uh, running a fund last year, lots of questions were raised. VC dead, ISO is going to take over. Speaking with him at the press conference, uh, we raised the same question. And the answer is not really. The VC is not really dead. Just to understand why, you look at the figures. ICO has really took off in the middle of the last year. And um, about 6.1 billion was raised. But in reality, the private investments is much, much bigger. You're talking about trillion dollar market if you combine the growth funds and the VC. So VC is not really dead in the numbers, but as a model, it's for sure has been shaken. It's, it was last year reasonably easy to go out to the market and raise capital, but the party is um, kind of getting stable this year. And the reason for the party getting stable is that if you want to address the markets like 1. trillion or 5 trillion, which is all private capital markets combined, you really need to bring a little bit more uh, than the technology. You need to bring regulatory status, you need to bring governance, and you actually have to bring simplicity for the current money uh, managers to operate. So far, it's been lacking in the ICO space, but for sure, blockchain as a technology, it's a good enabler to bring something new to the C VC world. VC is actually a very interesting asset class. It can generate good returns, and for some top US VC firms, they average about 40 to 50% uh, annually, but it's inherently very illiquid. So you invest into a fund, and you stay within the same fund for sometimes 10, sometimes 12 years. So the returns are good, but you're stuck for about 10 to 12 years. Blockchain as a technology is a good enabler to try to bring liquidity into this market. And bringing liquidity into this market makes something interesting. Um, just for your understanding, if we go back and you look at 5.2 trillion private capital, compared to, uh, to about 72 trillion in the uh, listed stocks. And the only difference is velocity. With private capital, you are stuck for many, many years. With uh, traded companies, you can offload it today, tomorrow. You can buy, sell, you can trade. That's what velocity brings to the markets. So if you bring velocity to the venture capital markets, you bring more liquidity. In return, you fund more entrepreneurs, you create better companies, bigger companies, you create new uh, uh, working spaces. So basically, you start this entrepreneurial activity which makes the economy grow and helps the society. What we're trying to do is we try to address that issue of regulation, security, and simplicity. So we're creating the first, at least maybe not in the world, but at least in the EU, regulated uh, market space, digital asset exchange for the venture capital assets. In essence, venture capital funds or accelerators can issue tokens linked to their portfolios and sell it. First sell to accredited investors and then sell to the public. We are trying to connect the market of VC accelerator, so in essence, professional investors, with professional investors on the other side, as well as the public. And by doing so, we are bringing liquidity to this asset class. So we, have, we aim to, to make that $1 trillion, which is in VC, five. And by doing so, we hope to expand the $5 trillion, which is in private markets, to 25. And the way to do it is provide security, transparency, and regulation. The only reason to, 
to address this market is that we have a team which has already done it uh, in the past. Our chairman has already built a $5 billion company listed on NASDAQ. Dominique has been CEO of the Brussels Exchange. And myself, I run venture capital and crypto funds. The person helping us with the regulation is the former finance minister of Luxembourg. And Luxembourg is probably the best place to address it. If you think that the United States is a big market and many of you cannot probably uh, figure out where Luxembourg is on the map, think that in terms of assets under management for the international funds, they are competing. So in Luxembourg, there are about $4 trillion which are managed. There are about 4,000 uh, registered funds, which are uh, funds for uh, the public, and about 10,000 which are non uh, uh, registered for the public. It's the uh, f largest security listing center in the EU, so it's a nice place to uh, operate an exchange. So what we plan to do is uh, try to bring liquidity to the market, and we will be very, very happy if we, by doing so, increase the entrepreneurial in Europe and hopefully throughout the world. Thank you very much. We plan to be operational first quarter next year. Hope to see you then.